Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Saktivel, and in this video, uh, I will cover why Playwright with TypeScript is getting more attention than Playwright with other programming languages combination. Um, without wasting much time, um, let's see why. Before diving deep into why we, I prefer TypeScript over JavaScript, um, we wanna we wanna compare the the preference of javascript and typescript in general to the other programming languages so currently javascript and typescript is widely used as the programming language for building modern front ends um, you know you use material uh, ui react js view a lot of front end libraries and frameworks available and they all use uh, you know uh, js or ts as their programming languages so developers in most of the organizations were using um, these languages for write, uh, writing their development code. Uh, again, there are still companies that use uh, PHP uh, and, and some companies use Java to build their backend. But in majority of, majority of the startups, people don't want to differentiate between their um, backend and frontend programming languages. So so they use NestJS, ExpressJS for, for building their backend and uh, you know uh, ReactJS, uh, for example, for building their frontend. So they can have just one developer who could do both backend and dev uh, development and frontend development. So this is one of the important advantage uh, that, uh, you know, why this JavaScript and TypeScript getting more popularity. Um, and, and coming back to other stuff, right? Uh, in, in our organization in particular, um, I have experienced this change. Previously, we had our uh, automation tests in Selenium and Java, but then if, we also have integrated tightly to the PR. So if there is a PR uh, raised by developers, our Selenate Java uh, test might fail and uh, developers find it very difficult to understand what's happening and how they could uh, unblock themselves. So, so it is imperative for us to write the code in the same language as developers. So, so they could, if there is some issue or something, they could go ahead and fix it by themselves. And, and most importantly, the shift is happening where developers have started to writing more e e2e tests um, than expecting testers to write e2e tests. So the shift is actually happening in US and particularly in my company. I, I'm not saying this will happen in your company, but you know, in my, uh, I can foresee that in three to five years down the lane, developers will do everything. Um, we will come back to the discussion what the role of tester in a, in a later point of time, uh, but the shift is definitely happening. So playwright with TS or JS is very easy to write. Like, um, you know, for example, in Java, uh, you know, if you want to write the code, you have to uh, create context, browser context, pages. You need to use thread local if you want to run those tests in parallel. So there are a lot of intricacies involved and the, and the code is also kind of lengthy. And uh, so I'll give you an example of, I will record a test and I'll show you how the test will look like in different languages. But uh, before that, uh, why TypeScript is preferred um, and why I chose TypeScript for my series instead of JavaScript um, is because TypeScript is basically a, a superset of your JavaScript. It built on uh, JS. Uh, it has some additional features. It comes with static typing. Uh, so if you are someone who is coming from Java, it may be, um, you know, you might find JavaScript to be completely different uh, uh, programming language. The, the, the way how you perceive or understand these languages will vary too much. For example, Java is strictly typed, so you might find very hard to code. JavaScript is very leniently uh, stuff. There is no static typing, so you could write code whatever you want. Um, so uh, TypeScript is kind of uh, striking the balance between both of that. Um, so something like that. So I prefer TypeScript because it comes with static typing. It is easier for me uh, who comes from a Java language to, to understand and code in type, a TypeScript rather than in JavaScript. Apart from that, if there is a compile time issue, let's say, uh, uh, you know, there's a method name called go to. Uh, if you type G-O-T-O and T-S small letters, uh, sorry, T-S capital letters, uh, you know, your your TypeScript compiler will complain there is no such method because there is a typo in your method name. But in case of JavaScript, it doesn't complain until it executes that particular code. So, 
So it is very uh, easy uh, to write code in TypeScript because of static typing, because of the code refactoring that uh, the IDU support, uh, and then also uh, the the intelligence, the code completion that the uh, IDEs can bring into your code. Also, very importantly, uh, if your developers are writing a lot of TypeScript code, uh, with you can you can apply a lot of linting rules to that, and then you know it can help you to catch bugs much easily, right? Instead of instead of writing JS code and then letting the code uh, run and then finding the bug, which is which actually uh, eats a lot of uh, developers time. So if you are trying to create a very simple project just for uh, practicing and all that, JavaScript might be handy. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, but TypeScript, if you are looking to create some serious uh, 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 projects, then TypeScript is what I prefer. Uh, you know, it, it can vary. Uh, so let's quickly compare uh, with, uh, let's quickly create a test uh, using uh, CodeGen and uh, and compare uh, why other languages, it, it becomes a little difficult. So for example, uh, let's say I open google.co.in and then I type something here um, and then maybe I will assert, uh, let's say this automation text is present uh, and then I will stop the recording. So if you notice, this is the playwright inspector that recorded the script for me. Let me zoom in a bit and uh, let's say, yeah. So if you notice, this is now uh, in Node.js and Test Runner. There are a couple of things here as well. If you use Test Runner, uh, it comes with a lot of fixtures, uh, you know, inbuilt assertions and all that. So it will make your life easy. So we are we have actually set up playwright test in our in our part two. If you haven't watched that, I highly recommend to watch that. So if you notice, there is you go to this particular uh, URL and then you search for something and then uh, you find an element with uh, find the element using get by text and check whether it is visible. So this is the code. It's like three lines of code. The same code, if you, if you don't use the playwright test package, instead you use the plain playwright uh, stuff, then it becomes you know, you need to create a browser, then you need to create contacts, you need to create pages. So <laughs> you, you need to also handle uh, uh, how, how to close them. So when to close them. So there are a lot of stuffs here, right? So it is pretty complicated, right? Similarly, if you use Java, the same thing is here. So you need private resources. Um, you have your uh, browser, you have your browser contacts, pages, and all these things are um, not... Um, you know, threat safe. So if you are trying to run your test in parallel and you, you have some factory classes or something like that, you need to handle them using thread local. So which brings in more, uh, more complexity. So anything, any efforts that you spend um, on, you know, building your frameworks, you know, solving problems that is not your business problems is a waste of time. I don't like to do all these things. So if there is a better way of doing this and this is the better way, Again, guys, there are PyTest and other uh, .NET libraries available. I haven't explored much about them. So you could also have a look at them. But then, in my opinion, the player, playwright with TypeScript is, um, is, is much better with your, uh, yeah. So you can also see the PyTest. You know, it, it also seems to have some kind of uh, uh, stuff. And then the library stuff is having a lot of boilerplates. Uh, you know, you can also have a look at all these things. But in my opinion, um, if, you're, if your team is having a lot of developers who are ready to contribute to automation, please prefer this. Otherwise, you can also prefer Java uh, because finding a Java resource and you know asking them to learn Playwright with Java is much easier than asking them to learn a new language and, and contribute. So, so it depends upon your team and the context. Please choose their language uh, according to the needs. In my, in my opinion, I will always go for Playwright with script. Um, I, I hope this video is useful. Uh, I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, Tana, bye-bye from Amazon. Bye-bye, guys.